Next up, longtime girls basketball coaching legend at Buckeye Central, Maynard Spies. First of all, for those who are thinking, why don't I have a presenter? <clears throat> it's because tonight is really not about me. It's about all the great athletes who I had the privilege of coaching. And so tonight, I'm up here to honor them, not me. <clears throat> it's truly an honor and privilege to be standing here tonight. I'd like to thank LeVon Goodhart for nominating me and the selection committee for allowing me to be a part of this. As many coaches inducted before me have mentioned, this would not be possible if not for the many great athletes I had the privilege of coaching. To be one of the few people in Crawford County history to have helped coach three different sports to the regionals is truly a blessing. But when you have receivers like Dan Wirth and Dwayne Stackham, <clears throat> running back Jet, the Jet Johnson, quarterback Scott Einstein White, being the offensive coordinator and calling all the plays really wasn't all that difficult. And the same can be said about the baseball program. But I suppose the main reason I'm up here tonight is because of the accomplishments of the girls basketball program. <clears throat> and so tonight I'd like to honor them for what they did to maintain excellence. Someone once asked me, what makes the Buckets program different from the rest? My answer would have to be consistency. It did not matter whether the game was home or away. The final score against the same opponent was the same. It has been said that offense brings the crowd, but defense wins the game. One aspect of good defense is controlling the boards. In over 260 varsity ball games, the Buckets were out-rebounded out 12 times. Consistency. Another aspect is not to, commit, not to commit the stupid foul and send them to the free throw line for free points. Over the 12 year period, the Buckets went to the line an average of 18 times a game. The opponent went six. Five times the opponent never made it to the line the entire game. Unfortunately, that happened twice against Winford. <laughs> Some say that this is called home court advantage. So I broke down the games into home and away. Home games, 18 to 6. Away games, 18 to 6. Again, consistency. The school record for the best defensive average was in 1980 at 32 points per game. The 12 year average, 33 points per game. Again, consistency. The varsity and JV programs won over 90% of their games against the other Crawford County schools. And despite the fact that Buckeye Central was the smallest school in the NCC, River Valley narrowly had a better record in the NCC than the Buckets. Again, consistency. There's a saying, you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? <laughs> Coaches can talk the talk by instructing their players all they want. But it's the players who walk the walk by executing those instructions. <clears throat> the Buckets walk the walk. Winning the champ state championship in 1985 was a dream come true. But the accomplishment I am most proud of didn't even happen on the court. Before each season, I told my players that academics was far more important than wins. If you can't keep your grades up, I don't want you in the program. Even though the girls had to play on Tuesdays and Thursdays with tests on Monday, or Wednesday and Friday morning, the girls maintained a GPA of 3.4 over the 12-year period. I never realized how amazing that was until I saw a show on ESPN when they highlighted a girls team from Indiana who won the state and had a GPA of 3.0 for one year. The Buckets did it for 12. When the Buckets won their 500th ball game, Ohio High School Athletic Association presented the school with a plaque. 
We were told at that time, VC was the eighth school, regardless of size, to do so. A few years later, when the volleyball team won their 500th game, Ohio High School Athletic Association presented them with a plaque as well and said Buckeye Central was the second school in Ohio, regardless of size, to win 500 in both volleyball and basketball behind Lima Bath. So again, it shows what great athletes we had the privilege of coaching. In closing, I'd just like to thank again the girls for all they did to maintain excellence and to all the coaches who followed me and kept the tradition going. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Crawford County Sports Hall of Fame, class of 2022-23, Vader Speaks, Buckeye Central.